everybody, it's Alex from Alex and Erica's channel and we're back to talk about a new island in the Caribbean today. As I mentioned in the previous video that I did about St. Lucia, I talked about how I want to do a series of videos talking now about the ports in the southern eastern part of the Caribbean because in my opinion it's some of the most beautiful area that you can visit in the Caribbean with some fantastic people and there's just some beautiful places to see. So we're going to talk today about Barbados. All right, so as I mentioned in the past, the reason I make these videos is because, again, cruising is one of our favorite forms of travel. We love to travel, we love to cruise. And again, I don't wanna to get too repetitive here, but I, I constantly tell people, pick cruises based on itineraries that really, really interest you. I find a lot of people visit the same ports on a regular basis because they're, they're, they're loyal to one particular cruise line, which is fine. But I would say that just in general with uh, loyalty programs these days and perks, you know, the benefits are not as great as maybe the experience of going to new and exciting places. You know, getting out there and doing an itinerary that maybe one of your favorite cruise lines doesn't offer and uh, going out and experiencing that cruise or that itinerary maybe through a different cruise line. For the most part, I think cruising in general has a lot of similarities depending on the cruise line you're going on. And for the most part, if you enjoy cruising, if you like being on cruise ships, you're gonna have a great time. I can tell you personally, we continue to kind of fall back into this carnival category. If you follow our videos, we have two boys that are eight and five and we were, we, we thought we were kind of like on the way out here as I've mentioned before, I've been on about 40 or so cruises. I've done 10, 12 different cruise lines. And then we, we got hit with the COVID baby. We had Emma Rose, our baby girl, who is just a little over one now. And so the one thing that we like about Carnival and keeps us coming back there is that their night owls program, their babysitting program, if you have a baby that's six months or older, they will babysit in the evenings at the kids club from 10 p.m. until 1, 1.30 in the morning, depending on the cruise line or the cruise ship and how busy the cruise is at that time. But that gives us three plus hours every evening to go out and have some fun, check the kids into kids camp. There is a fee for that. It's about $7.25, $7.50, $7.50 an hour. But in my opinion, it's worth Worth it. Most other cruise lines, you've got to be two, three years old, you've got to be potty trained, and then they'll do some babysitting, late night babysitting options. So Carnival, I think, has a lot of cruise lines beat in that department, and that's why at least for the time being, we're gonna cruise on Carnival, at least when we're taking the kids for a few more years, and then we'll get back to not really being so set on, let's say, going on a Carnival cruise. So with that said, let's talk about Barbados. A few years ago, we visited Barbados and we had a fantastic time, and it's it's just a beautiful place with uh, a lot of beautiful, fun activities. And again, we, we typically only talk about activities that we've personally done, especially when we're talking about like our favorite thing to do in Barbados. I've, I've noticed that Sometimes people talk about different activities and they don't have any personal experience. When uh, when I talk about our favorite thing to do in a particular port, that's something that we've personally done in the past. It's something we've enjoyed and that's why I'm making this video to share it with you. Because if you're going on a cruise, I'd like to see you invest a little bit more time, research, and maybe a little bit, little bit of money to take full advantage of your time that you have in port. That's one of the downsides with cruising is you have limited time in each port. So you really want to maximize it and get the most bang for your buck while you're in port. So with Barbados, as far as currency goes, everywhere is going to take your American dollars. If you need to get cash, I suggest always using the ATM on the cruise ship. That's always a preferred option. If you do need to use a local ATM, make sure it's a brick and mortar type location. Freestanding ATMs can be a little tricky and a little questionable at times. Barbados is very safe. You shouldn't have any issues. The Bayesian people are very friendly, very laid back. Just be respectful and you will have a great time. Don't do anything that you wouldn't do back home and you'll be fine. And Barbados is an embarkation port. That's one thing you'll notice sometimes when you're exiting the ship, you'll sometimes see a few people getting on or off. Barbados is a spot where people will be beginning or ending their cruise in some situations, depending on where they live and what their current situation is. So, so one thing you'll notice uh, when you exit the ship too is that the cruise terminal, the port um, is rather new. Worst case scenario, if you don't want to do anything in Barbados, you can just get off ship walk around the terminal there's uh, a bunch of stores in there a couple little restaurants buy a couple souvenirs and then get back on the ship but if you want to have some fun I'd encourage you to get off and explore do a little planning in advance because you'll really really enjoy it 
The cheapest thing, most affordable option, is to walk into Bridgetown. There is a shuttle, typically from the terminal, um, which is about $2 a person that will take you across the bridge right into downtown. Some cruise lines will offer a free shuttle into town. Not uh, many do, but some will. Just keep that in mind depending on the cruise line that you're on. And what this will allow you to do is just explore, look for some local Asian food, maybe buy some souvenirs, check out what Barbados has to offer. The nice thing about traveling these days, especially if you do have um, some connection to the uh, internet when you're traveling, I know some people will say, well, I'm on vacation, I don't wanna take my phone, and that's fine, I understand, but you know, it is nice to be connected, especially when you're traveling these days because you can walk around and you can look at the reviews and you can be like, wow, this restaurant has really good reviews, and this restaurant has very questionable reviews. You know, it's, it's just so nice to have that resource available these days that you can quickly look at it and then look at the reviews if you see a bunch of reviews and that particular person has only provided one review one review one review chances are maybe those aren't legitimate reviews but if you look at the reviews and you're like wow this person has 30 reviews 15 reviews 12 reviews these look like they're valid accounts you'll know like hey this is a great restaurant or a good local bar or something we can go in and explore and you'll find there's a few spots right down in the Bridgetown area that you'll really enjoy it has been a few years I know one of the spots that we went to last time we were there isn't there anymore and that's probably because of COVID so I can't give you any particular recommendations as far as where to eat but there are good spots to go to and use your phone to find one of them because there are some great options. So after you've explored Bridgetown and if you want to head to the beach you can take your cruise ship towel you can walk south and you can go to a beach called uh, Pebbles Beach that's one of the most popular areas to be in uh, Barbados. It's probably about a 15-20 minute walk if you're going to go there directly from the cruise ship I believe you can take a taxi there it's like I think it was like five dollars a person from what I remember. They'll take you right down to uh, Pebbles Beach and again a lot of that beach area is you know it's all the beaches are public there's no reason why you can't go there and take advantage of the beautiful beach and then there are places establishments restaurants bars where they'll maybe offer you a chair umbrella use of their facilities if you buy so much money or if you spend so much money on food and beverages but obviously that depends on you it depends on your budget what you feel comfortable with and what I would do if you're willing to spend a little bit more money and like I said if you watch the video about St. Lucia St. Lucia is a is an island a destination where I really encourage you to spend the money on a tour with Barbados it's rather easy to navigate um, around the island depending on what you want to do this would be a spot where I'd say there are some great tours to do if you don't mind if, you know if budgets are not an issue then spend the money do a tour but if if you're thinking you're doing a, a cruise with three or four uh, ports and you don't want to spend money on tours on every port this would be uh, a destination where you can just do it rather easily on your own you can take a taxi to the beach you could walk to the beach you could do a number of different things without spending a ton of money but if you're willing to spend a little bit more money what I would be in favor of doing is um, getting off the boat there's gonna be taxis there you can negotiate maybe doing a one two three hour tour of the island you can go to some of the most uh, visited uh, places on the island to see some of those places might be st. James Church which I believe is the oldest church on the island Barbados is famous for being uh, where Rihanna is from you can go see her childhood home and where she grew up that's a very popular thing to do and um, you could just explore just the beautiful island itself. There's some of the, the rainforest getting up into the uh, mountains where you'll you'll find there's just some beautiful landscapes and a lot of beautiful things to see. And then depending on your budget and depending on how much time you want to spend on that, that, that would be a nice option. Most all the taxis in Barbados are like these uh, minivans so you can have four or five, six people in there fairly comfortably. Maybe a little bit more depending on the, I, I forget the configuration, but I know we had six in our van when we did a, a little tour of the island and it was comfortable and I seem to remember that there was space for a couple more that's what that's what I would do if you're willing to spend a little bit more money explore the island and then get dropped off at the beach and spend the afternoon enjoying the beach going to Pebbles Beach enjoying everything that the beach has to offer what we did and what our favorite option is when we went to Barbados is we did a we did a quick little island tour like that we spent an hour or two I think it was like an hour and a half and then at the end of the uh, tour we had the uh, taxi drop us off at 
the boatyard. And the boatyard is a, a beach bar that's located in the area where Pebbles Beach is at, but you have the use of facilities. So you have the use of everything that they have to offer. They've got a restaurant, they've got a bar, they've got changing uh, facilities, and, you know, obviously bathrooms, everything that you need. And then the amenities, the amenities are nice. There's a, there's a, like a dock that goes out where you have a rope swing. You've got a platform where you can jump off, which is a lot of fun. There's a big floating uh, trampoline out in the ocean. There's a, a big slide that you can climb up. And then you've got along the beach, you've got umbrellas, lounge chairs that you can use. And, um, and it's, it's a fantastic time. Barbados is like just such a beautiful spot and the beach, you know, and like I've said, we're just, we love the beach. Barbados is a, a place that doesn't disappoint. It's a fantastic place to go to the beach. And we had a fantastic time at the boat yard. So when you arrive at the boat yard, you're gonna um, have to pay an entry fee. I believe it's $35 per adult. It's a little bit less for kids. If you're, uh, if you work on a cruise ship, I think if you show your ID, you save a little bit of money also. I think it's 30 instead of 35. But in my opinion, the expense of $35 for access and use of the facilities was well worth it. And then at, and then we purchased some appetizers, some snacks, a few drinks, a couple local beers, and uh, we spent the afternoon there. The other thing that's really cool about uh, visiting the boat yard is that one, they do have a free shuttle that will return you to the uh, cruise ship terminal. And I believe that starts at 1 p.m. and then it goes like every 15 minutes. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. 1 p.m. every 15 minutes throughout the afternoon and that's free or you can pay taxi depending on what you want to do maybe you want to go somewhere else and then go back to the ship but the other thing that's really really cool is that the boat yard also includes a snorkeling tour and so they have a boat that goes out into um, Pebbles Beach basically is part of uh, Carlisle Bay I hope I pronounced that correctly but and that bay has a uh, like a, a sunken ship and it, it has some areas it's not that far but you you'll go out there on a boat where you can go snorkeling and it's really really beautiful out there you'll um this is a great opportunity to see uh sea turtles depending on the time of the year so bring your camera bring your gopro whatever it is you use and you do have to swim down a little bit if you want to get up and close to the uh the shipwreck because it is you know a few meters below the ocean for me it was kind of a struggle because i was out there with the kids and the kids are holding on to me and i'm trying to stay afloat the kids have their life jackets on but still they don't want to get too far but it's fun and the the other suggestion i have too is depending on how many cruise ships are in town or in port that day. You may want to go out there like right when you arrive at the boat yard. You may want to just get the uh, snorkeling done in the beginning because it does get crowded sometimes. And so being out there with maybe a little uh, fewer people is definitely nice. I think with Eric and I, we alternated. I, I can't remember, but pretty sure we alternated. I think we went out, I went out with one of the kids and then she went out with another one of the kids at different times. In hindsight, I think we should have gone together just because we could have uh, had some assistance when the kids wanted to get back on the boat and one of us could have stayed and continued to snorkel. But you're not out there for a, a, a long time. You're out there for 20 or so minutes, 20, 30 minutes, and then you're back to the beach and they, um, they provide that, which I think, I, I thought that was a lot of fun. In general, that whole area, that whole beach, whether or not you're at the boat yard or just using the beach outside the boat yard is just a fantastic and beautiful, beautiful spot and beautiful thing to do in Barbados. Another option, the last option I wanna talk about, and um, this is a website that we use, I use it fairly often. It's called resortpass.com, and I only knew about this uh, option. We didn't personally do this, but we had some friends that had a, a wedding. They went to a wedding in Barbados, and um, they stayed at the uh, the Hilton, the Barbados Hilton Resort. And I just remember that, that was pretty recently, that they just had a fantastic time. And so I looked that up on Resort Pass just to see what options were available, and that was the, uh, the only hotel that is currently showing up as available. If you watch our video about Puerto Varda, one of the times we went to Puerto Varda, we did a resort pass um, there. You know, that is $60 per adult. And um, the other thing that you might consider doing is I think for $200, you can do a day bed, which I think is for like four people, but that includes a $60 food credit, which is nice. The $60 just provides you access to the facilities, but it's a beautiful resort, beautiful pool, beautiful beach area. So if you're basically looking for something with like more of like a, a pool, swim up bar, and whatnot, then 
the resort pass might be a good option. If you're just happy with the beach and facilities and also the snorkeling tour, I'd say personally, I'd lean towards the boat yard. That's what we've personally done. It's one of the things that we just really, really enjoyed. When we did this cruise a couple years ago, Barbados, Antigua, St. Thomas, I mean, those were the spots that were right at the top of our list of being our favorite spots. We enjoyed the other ports. We did like seven ports. It was an eight or nine day cruise. It was a busy cruise with a lot of ports. That was not a cruise to get the uh, the alcohol package on because every day was like an intensive port day. So we weren't we weren't drinking that much anyways. But uh, it was fun. Barbados was one of our favorite spots that we visited. So I encourage you to enjoy it, take advantage. And if you're going on a cruise, like I said, spend a little time, do a little research, know what you're gonna do before you get there. So you arrive and you can take advantage of all your time there. I'm gonna leave you with some highlights of our day in Barbados. And then if you wanna watch that whole series of vlogs that we did when we went to Barbados and St. Thomas and whatnot, I'll have a link in our, the description of this video. And if you've been to Barbados or if you live in Barbados, or if you have any feedback, I'd love to hear your feedback. Tell me what it is that you love about Barbados. What's your favorite thing to do? And I always look forward to hearing from you, interacting with you guys in the comments. I hope this video finds you well. I hope you have a fantastic cruise if you're heading out on your cruise and we'll check in with you soon. Talk to you later.